Guys, this right here is the brand new Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road with a factory suspension lift. And there's only one way to find out how good the suspension really is. I'm gonna take it up ironclad trail, see the articulation, the clearance, and also drive fast off-road because I wanna keep up with these guys, the side-by-sides. Let's see how it goes. I interrupt this video for this week's TFL bids bargain. We have some really cool trucks and off-road SUVs for sale, but if you're looking for a cool overland camping Jeep, there is very, very few better than this one. This is a 2015 Jeep Wrangler JK. It's a Rubicon, it's built up with a small lift, off-road wheels and tires, it's in great shape with low miles, but it also has a very nice Ursa Minor tent system on top. These are very, very difficult to find these days, but we have it. Use the link in the description below to check it out and bid on it. And don't forget, you can submit your own truck or SUV for sale using the link, submit a vehicle, and have it go to a like-minded enthusiast. When you purchase a truck like this, a Tacoma TRD off-road, it already comes with a lot of equipment built in. Four low rear locker, crawl control system. But what one of the first mods that people wanna do, they wanna get more clearance, maybe bigger tires. And it's kinda of difficult to find a really high quality lift system uh, for not very much money. But Toyota is actually offering it now from the factory, factory tuned, factory approved, dealer installed, and it's called the TRD Performance Lift Kit. And it offers two additional inches of front clearance. So it goes from about 9.4 to about 11. And one inch of lift in the rear. So you have additional clearance. Although the tires on this particular Tacoma are still stock. All right guys, so that was the first obstacle that was the steps and that was all right uh, but now the second step of the ironclads trail is actually the razor rocks so i may need more control so i'm going to enable my rear locker and go into mode for rock and dirt because there's a lot of loose dirt here i'm going to try to climb over this i do have optional side steps on this truck but uh, let's see, I don't wanna, I don't want to uh, go sideways. So these tires are obviously, you know, they're not super insanely great, but it has enough traction for me to very, very slowly climb up over this. Not bad, not bad at all. Guys, check this out. I have the Toyota Tacoma Christmas tree right here. I'm in four low and my rear locker is enabled. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but the traction control system is in off-road mode. And yeah, I mean, it's okay. But check this out. Also, I have my cameras. Not super high resolution, but still a bit helpful. And it's combined here together with an inclinometer. So I can tell exactly you know, what my inclination is. Although, I wouldn't rely on it too much because I would rather look at the obstacles rather than looking at the angle I'm at. Um, but it is helpful sometimes when you're approaching something very huge. Okay, so now I'm staring at True For Dare. It's really rocky. I'm gonna select my crawl control speed and attack it. Here is my test of clearance and breakover angle. 
so I'm gonna try to kind of approach this diagonally because I don't wanna beached, get beached on this obstacle and see if I can actually gently crawl over it. If I was specking this truck out, I would not get like one of the premium packages it has. I also wouldn't get the side steps. I think this truck doesn't really need side steps. You know what? I cleared it. So I recently was here in a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon and I touched the skid plate in the center of the vehicle. And with this lift kit, especially with the line I chose, which is a little bit less aggressive, cleared it. Yes. So, so it is actually doing what it's supposed to. It's giving me the clearance and I feel confident uh, with this truck. Nice. Well, sometimes going downhill is actually more difficult than up. So I'm going to select my crawl control system, speed three out of five. I'm going to see if it'll help me descend this. Of course, you're hearing the ABS system as it's trying to control each wheel speed independently. And I'm pretty comfortable with this speed, even though it's a little bit snowy and icy here. I'm trying to kind of negotiate this rock. I don't want to puncture a sidewall. These tires do have Kevlar. <sighs> Cleared it just by a couple of inches. All right, not too bad. So I just hit what my passenger side step on this ledge. There's really only one line I can take. There's not a lot of different lines. So it's still in good condition, but I did touch it, which is why I'm saying I wouldn't buy the side step if, I, if it was me. You know, the brakes are a little touchy on most of these Tacoma and Toyota trucks in general, so I'm trying to modulate it, but it's a little bit jerky. Um, it's kind of a aggressive brake actuation. All right, so the first part is done, the ironclad trail um, articulation check. Tire traction is actually not too bad. Clearance check. Even the approach and departure angles are better, and I could actually tell by driving it. Now the fast section awaits. And of course, there are my friends. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, well, they have serious machines. Check it out. Yeah, I probably won't keep up with them on some of the flats, but let's see what these Bilstein shocks with TRD tuning can do. Let's go. All right, it's time to have some fun. I'm out of four low. Traction control is still disabled. And I'm going to pick up some speed here and see how it goes. See if these shocks are actually, you know, also work at higher speeds. And by the way, I'm running about factory pressure for the tires, about 30 PSI. Okay. I didn't get a lot of 
uh, spin there. I wanted to do a little bit of a burnout, but I didn't do a too big of a burnout. You know, I think these uh, tire pressures are a little bit too much. On the street, these shocks are just amazing. Very, very smooth, very controlled, very nice. But right here, I think the ride is just a little bit harsher than I like. So definitely, this is not, you know, what TRD Pro. So I would say if you're gonna go do some faster running, I would recommend lowering your tire pressure a bit, maybe the 25 psi, maybe a touch lower. I'm not talking about high speed, I'm talking about 15 to 20, 25 miles per hour, something like that. So the price on this truck as tested is just over 46,000 bucks and with the 1450 lift kit the price is approaching about 48 grand still competitive with some of the uh, competitors like the new Ranger Tremor Lariat edition or maybe even a lifted Gladiator Rubicon although those Jeeps actually go higher in price yeah, and I gotta tell you, rock crawling with a suspension or going over obstacles slowly is really great. The clearance is awesome, but fast running is not so great. It's still a little bit bumpy uh, with the suspension, but clearing water, it's not that big problem. And as always, go back to tfloffroad.com for all the latest news, views, and real-world off-road reviews. Till the next one.